Harry's doing good today. Going to pick up my buddy Tony, the local legendary guitar player. Um, going to be doing some music for some of our videos and stuff. Uh, we're going to go look around out the woods. We had a bunch of rain yesterday. I think his power is out because it got pretty fierce last night. Um, see if there's any mushrooms or anything like that out there that we want to grab up. Alright, let's go see what we can do. Walking around out here and hello. Kick into the woods. It's in good shape too, ain't it? Sure is. Um wow, that's a big one. You want part of that one? I got a bag in the truck. That's a nice one. That was not here last weekend. Look at the slugs all around it. Oh my yeah. god, look at the slugs. I guarantee that grew just literally with that super thunderstorm we just had. Yeah. Look at the slugs, man. Wow. Look at them, they're all the way up the tree. Oh, wow. <laughs> It's like they're coming from miles around to get on this chicken. Oh yeah, star for moisture. Yeah. I mean, this is like probably the well, most. We had all that time with no rain and now all of a sudden we're like, yeah, you know, an Amazon rainforest in the last thunderstorm. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna hack this thing. Right. Uh, try to leave a little bit there so if yeah. it yeah. Yeah. A slug in it. Probably. Yeah, this is probably not the preferred bag. Let's see what it's the back looks like. To. Oh, it's not bad. Not bad. It's not... very fresh. Wow. Nice. That's primo condition right yeah. there. Yeah. Awesome. Well, heck yeah. That'll be some good chewing. Yeah. Some chicken fingers. Yeah. That's bad. Yeah, they just washed it off the food. Yeah. That's nice. Mm, it's nice and fresh. <laughs> These guys are like, hey! <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen that many slugs. Dude, I have uh, not seen that many slugs in one spot. And I don't think ever. Just starving for that thunderstorm. Wow. Nice. Awesome find. All right. This started out beautiful. Me and my grandsons are, the two oldest ones, are up camping here near Ludington. Thought we'd look around, see if we could find any shoes growing up here. And right when I got out of the truck, and some golden chanterelles. I'm not in the greatest of shape, that one's kind of old and beat up. They're good, but small. Gills on them kind of go down to the stem or stipe. Very good mushrooms. And my grandson Frank found a nice patch over here. Where's that at, Frank? Show me. Lead on, Sherper Guide. Oh, there's one. Derek, you got a knife, don't you? Let me see it. Open it up, will you? Alright. 
very nice. Yes, those are really nice. Well, you guys want to take these? I got a couple more here. This one's huge. Look at that. Yeah, that thing's huge. We'll knock all the crap off it when we get back. To it. Yeah. We might be able to throw them on our burgers. Wow. Look at down here. Nice one. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. Any more? I don't really see anything. A little one hiding right there. A little one hiding back there. More of the ones right there. Let me get these bigger ones. Though. Awesome knife, Derek. Hey. Hi. 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 Let's go find some more. Is there? Yep. Oh, that's a big one too. Get him. Get him. Oh, there's a little group in mine here. Yeah, these, these must just be starting to pop up good around here. I haven't found any by the house. You know, at home. Here, I'll put those away from Oh my god, that's what's up. Where's that one I dropped? Yeah. White. Let's go see. There's a big one right there. A couple of them. Right there. Right there. They're covered up by the grass. Pull the grass. Oh, look, look this one. Uh, yeah, he'll do. Them are a little small. That's about as small as I can go right there. Yeah, you gotta kind of be careful with them because they pull out cool. of the ground easy and they're kind of rapid. Yeah, I can see that. You're mangling them, bro. Oh no. Two, wasn't it? I thought that was one big one. Yep. All right. Let's go see what Frank found over here. Yeah. I don't know about that. Here. Oh, them are uh, them are ghost pipes. Those aren't really a mushroom. Those are a plant. Oh, right there. Oh, that's a uh, cinnabar chanterelle. Actually, it's a little it's medium size, I guess. They don't get super huge. If you find them like the size of these, they're considerably big. But those are a good mushroom, too. I'm not going to mess with them because those are the only two that we've seen out here. All right. It's, uh, Adventure on. Driving along the two track here, we spotted some shrooms. And what we have here, Frank, is uh, 
good old hedgehog. So I've many, never I've never done these ones before, so yeah, I'm yeah. unfamiliar with these, but kind of a nutty, buttery flavor. One of my favorites, actually. Here, let me get another one. Let's see okay. if it has a little more defined. Yeah, because there's several in these. Yeah. Yeah, these are. They almost got like a poly pour. Well, if you look at the back, if you can zoom in, it looks like hedgehog poor. It see does, that? yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's like a hairy looking thing. Right, and another identifying feature is when you find these, generally they can grow from anywhere. To, uh, one inch, I've seen them as big as six, seven, eight, ten inches wide. Oh, wow. And they generally grow like that, and it, it almost looks like a pancake, like a like a lumpy it pancake. Does, it does look like a pancake. That's one way to identify it. Wow. But the telltale way to check it is to see under there, and it helps with your phone because you can zoom in. Yep. Right. I'll show the you one see. you got there. Yeah. You see that? Oh, yeah, I can see that. Yeah, it's like a spiny. Yeah. Yep. It almost yeah, these looks are, like coral or something. They sell these at the farmer's market, and they sell, uh, I kind of think of how much a pound. They, they're not cheap. Yeah. Like you went to a farmer's market where they sell organic mushrooms or har wild harvest, these are uh, primo deal, huh? Primo mushrooms. These wow, are, these are these in are my good favorite. shape too. My favorite. Well, let's grab the rest That's of them either, suckers. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So, yeah, you got a nice little. And they usually grow like uh, I didn't even see that one. And uh, in clumps like that, Look, you find them. Yep, there's, there's a bunch, bunch right, right there. there. Nice little pile. Nice. Yep. Do you worry about the um, like leaving the root in there or just? Uh, it's pretty much like any mushroom. The mycelium roots are the it's mycelium it's already roots are established. Okay. Um, in fact, I've had some areas where I picked them and they grow back. Here's the other thing that you'll find exciting. Yeah. They grow almost mm -hmm. literally in the same spot every year. Nice. Yeah. So I'll know to check on the spot. Absolutely. Wow. Yeah. Sometimes I do like to leave a little bit of stem there because of some of the spores, but there, yeah. that's a nice little flex. Nice. There's, I think there's a couple little ones right next to that tree, too. Right here. Yep. That's oh, how fresh yeah. they are. Look at, they were just starting to pop up. Nice. Um, now, you know, when they get smaller like that, but of course you can kind of zoom in. Let's see if you can see that. I mean, it's kind clear of. that you can see it. Yeah, you can see it the on the... Oh, yeah. They're, they're all the same. Uh, well, there's some nice little buttons there. Nice. I'd actually let those continue to yeah, grow. Yeah, and then come back for exactly, them. Exactly. Right? Yeah, because nobody's going to see them. Yeah. See any more? This is one you want to kind of keep to yourself. This is a mushroom that a lot of people don't know. Well, we're gonna bag that and, sucker, and you don't just find them anywhere. All right, that's a, that's a nice hedgehog. little grab. Yep. I'm gonna throw that right. Well, now I know to look in them. Is that the kind of stuff you normally find them in? Them little leaves like that? Uh, they do generally grow like in uh, areas of, where there's openings, kind of like trails. And yeah. Like yeah. Right. Yeah, I just seen that rolling down the two track. And like low ground cover stuff, where the ground cover ain't very high and stuff. All right. Okay. Spotted some cinnabars over here. Cinnabar chanterelles. They are a real orange. Nope, I think those are those jacks. I think that's a jack. Um, that's not a jack. I, I can't think of a particular. Uh, it's another one that has the wide gills. You know, so they're not they're yeah. the, the, the current ridges. Right. These are defined gills. Yep. There's definitely gills. On definitely there. not edible. Okay, I'm not. Although somebody might argue that, but I'm not. Gonna well, like like the old saying goes, they're all edible one time. I don't chance it with the mushroom thing though. If I don't know, I don't mess with them. Here's something here. And also, it's like I you know, look at that one. It's a white bowl. What is that? Uh, it looks That's like some of that rustle SP. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell. Yeah. It's kind of beat up at all. Right. Identifying it. Well, it's good to see mushrooms growing, though. There does seem to be a lot of growth. Up, whatever. I don't know what that is. 
All right, let's get back in the old beat up Chevy and go we'll see what we can do. Okay, Chanterelle. Cinnabar chanterelles, those are really Oh, those are nice ones. Oh, those, are, those are big. A lot of weight and girth. Yeah. Them. See the underside, the under, the, All the, the current ridges, not gills. And you have to be real careful with that. Because there are some poisonous look-alikes. Look-alikes. Right. But you can tell, here's a good example. See how they help? They take kind of different shapes. Yeah, like yep. I've got, I've eaten these ones before. And another uh, way to identify is, is they'll be orange on the outside. And you see how the stem, if you were to tear that stem, you can see at the end it's white. White. And also, uh, if I was to tear up the mushroom further, you, it would be white inside. Okay. Uh, there, yeah, there are some of the other... Yeah, the gills there. kind of travel down to the stem or the yep, site. Exactly. They, they travel down, they're called the current ridges. Okay. And they're, uh, they're not gills, they're ridges. You can see the difference. Yeah. See, when you go like this with your finger, it doesn't rip them. Yeah. Yeah, because it's actually part of the, it's not its own thing under yep. there. Exactly. Nice. That's yep. a nice so, big yeah, one. Yeah, those are good, good size. Yeah, we'll be throwing them in the bag. And here, put them in your hand. Uh, that's a lot of weight for this. Oh, man. You know, yeah, them are, them are some of the biggest center bars I've seen. You know, the girthier ones that I've yeah. in the past. Oh, wow, they're nice. Yeah, nice little patch. Awesome. Well, those will go good, go good with a steak tonight, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I've heard of people that pickle those. Really? Yeah. Yeah, you can put them in a pickling spice, and they, they turn out really well. Huh. Uh, you can, you know, okay. Yeah. All right. Let's go walk around see what we can find. So we've gotten quite a bit of rain in the last few days. Last week or so, I'd say. And there is a lot of growth out here as far as mushrooms go. And there's all kinds of stuff there. Little one. There's a little one. There's a nice cinnabar over here. There. And there's the little ones here. Little bitty guys. Again, I'm only I'm only taking the ones that I can identify positively. There's so many mushrooms out here that I don't know what they are. I wish I did, but I don't mess with anything I'm unfamiliar with. I don't want to get sick. There's mushrooms all over the place. And they are just growing everywhere out here. Different down there. Brown guys there. Everything's still real moist out here. There's a little orange guy there. I don't know what that is. Did you look at these? Are these polypores? Oh, that one's got gills. Yep, not messing with them. Not gonna mess with them. Same thing right there. A little tiny piece of coral. Oh yeah, there's a nice little patch of them over there. Var various stages. Uh, 
Oh, one, one more nice one in there. Bag open. Like I said, I'm having steak for dinner, so this is gonna this is gonna go great. There's one. There's a few of them big red ones. These, these, these grow a lot out here. I don't know if these are edible or not. They're, they're gilled. Okay. No, I don't want nothing to do with that. Towards the edge of this hill, sometimes there's some chickens growing on these down trees over here. And we're walking along. I see this giant, giant mushroom growing out of this tree. Look at the size of this thing. And next to it. It's got big gills under it. It's nothing I want to eat, but it's just a huge mushroom. I want to show that. There's some weird yellow mushroom that's all beat down. Man, there's just little, all kinds of different kinds of mushrooms everywhere. Out there. Check this out. You know, I see on one of my mushroom groups, people were kicking. I mean, those are obviously pretty far gone. They're a polypore too, ain't they? Yeah. Is that yellow one a mushroom right there? And there's, look at there's a couple more of these guys. I don't know what those are. Put it in the comments, I'd like to know. There's a bunch of these white ones. See them? They're all over the place over here. Really? That's the stump, dude. That's the money stump. That's the one I wish I showed you last time we were out here. It's got a chicken on it. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. That's the stump right there that I find chicken on quite frequently. Oh wow! Back out here. My camera st stinks when I'm zooming. There's a, looks like a possible chicken there. I know there's a chicken there. All right, let's go see this one first. Seeing as it's closest. Yeah. That is a chicken, ain't it? Oh man, that's a perfect sizer too. Oh yeah. That's a beauty right there. That's how you want to find them. 
freshly popped up, hasn't been chewed on. Got a knife if you need it. I'd like to just wiggle it like that. Oh, yeah, look at that, how tender that is. Perfect. Almost so tender it's gonna fall. Oh, apart. look at that. It ain't even got no black spots on the back side oh, yet. That's uh, perfect. That's mm -hmm. perfect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the debris to be cleaned off. No big deal there. Not a problem. Yeah. Alright, let's put that in the munchie bag. Looks like it might be a couple of them over there. There's a stump right over here that's got a couple chickies on it. Oh yeah, because them weren't there uh, last week. I was out here last week, there was nothing there. Remember I was showing you that? That stump right there is prolific chicken producer. There's a lot more there than I thought there was. Yeah, and then even inside. Wow. Yeah, even inside the stump. Yeah, I've seen them grow all the way down there. Yeah, I gotta get a still of this. That's awesome. Yeah, that's all that's all pretty much stuff too. It's like other one. Yeah. Look at the back as clean as a whistle. Wow. Beautiful. Right back there. Yeah. Snag them out. Back of them look like oh, man. Took the water to force them. Wow. Oh, these are perfect cuddles. Yeah, yes. chicken fingers. Do you just do them in butter or do you bread them in all that? I understand here's a steel on edible. You can see it's a little fibrous yeah, as you're digging. From, from top. But that's all good right there. Yeah. Um, how many people make it chicken? Do you want to harvest any more? Um, actually, no. I don't. It's tough. I mean, mm. there's ways that you can preserve them. It's hard to. It's, it's hard to pass that up because you don't find this all the time. Right. But, you know, I can't eat so much. Right. stump for some reason, man, they just, they're there. Gotta hate to pass that up. I don't want to take any more than you need, though. I hate to take them and they're not using.
kind of down trees in here. Many, many down trees. That hill's got me huffing and puffing. Thought I might have found a hedgy, but it's a polypore. And I say polypore because of the underneath here, it looks kind of spongy. Uh, my camera sucks, so I'll probably be picking it up real good. But that just, that, I don't know what it is. hoping some of that breeze would get back in here and knock some of these bugs down. I mean, they're not as horrible as they've been, but they're still, still there. There was something over here that drew my attention. looking chicken out here. Driving along, I see this. It almost looks like a potato. It's a solid round ball. I wanted to see what the interior of it looked like, and it's this. Black with a white skin. If anybody knows what that is, comment. Very moist in there. It's very dense. It's a heavy. Yeah. I have never seen one of these. Yeah, I'd be curious to know what that is. Hmm. 